Hey guys, just want to take you through a budget starter deck for your Germany, Japan Field Marshal. This is an improvement to the starter decks. I had an 80% win rate with this deck going from Major all the way through to Field Marshal. So if you go and take this deck and uh, build it up, I'm sure you'll have the same success. Let's go through the deck, what you need to craft, and then we'll take a look at some playthrough. All right, let's take a look at the deck. So this is the budget Germany and Japan Field Marshal deck. So looking from the top here with Fast Hines giving your front line that extra plus two plus one punch to go in for the kill. Um, it, it also is a permanent buff. Uh, but keeping in mind that, that elites are not, you know, guarantee that you'll have them and definitely don't recommend crafting them. Uh, the Type 93 for the extra punch. Um, the 34th Infantry to get that infantry out there to trigger your uh, Pan Panzer 35T. Uh, the Panzer 2A to get a good, uh, it's a good one drop tank. If you can get a few of these to the front line combined with the Fast Hines, your 1-3s all of a sudden become very scary very early in the game. Sudden Strike uh, sitting here just for a bit of removal, uh, just to help, to, to help reclaim the front line if you do lose it or you don't get to go first so you don't have that tempo initially. This helps to uh, switch things around. Uh, 3.7 centimeter Flock 37. Uh, it's not a, not a great tank, really. It's not bad. I mean, the 2-0 operation cost, um, the 1-2 stats with Blitz. I mean, get it to the front line, and if you can buff it with Fast Hines or something, then it becomes much better. But in general, just because of the the, uh, the 2 defense, the 2 health, is makes it a lot easier for removal. Uh, susceptible to a lot more things. Uh, the Panzer 35T is a staple in this type of deck because of its operation cost dropping to 0 with uh, a 2-2 two -two punch. Um, as long as you have an infantry on the board, the operation cost drops to zero. The Stug 3 goes and does double damage to tanks with smoke screen, so it's a good little removal card. I mean, you're not hitting the big, big tanks with it to remove them, but doing double damage uh, for a two cost is pretty decent. Nebel Woofer is uh, one of the best artilleries in the game, and if you could deploy this guy out, that one damage ping that it does has a lot of, uh, does a lot of help. It's really good. The uh, AA is just a solid removal, again, helping with tempo if you uh, lose control of the front line. Uh, the Kagoshima Regiment with that 5-3 ambush is just a deadly card, really. It's uh, become one of the main win conditions with Japan aggro, and so it does fit all right into this deck as well. Uh, it does a little bit of punch, and with that HQ's can't gain defense is a super great uh, buff as well. Um, Pan's Grenadier is uh, sitting in here, and uh, I have two of them in here. And this is a decent card. Uh, it gives friendly tanks a plus two attack this turn. Um, these are, uh, you know, these are good replacements for Fast Hines, which we'll talk about in a second when I talk about what you need to craft to build this deck um, from the starter cards uh, to get above and beyond the starter cards. Um, Flam Panzers are just a Germany staple. You need to craft these ASAP. Uh, Panzer 38T uh, gives you a bit of card draw, as you can see in this deck here. Compared to Japan, when you're running Rising Sun, uh, you know you don't really have a lot in Germany to do card draw, and so this Panzer 38T at least it, it does a little cantrip. It, uh, when you deploy it, it'll replace itself, and then you get the 2-2 tank on the board. Uh, the card draw is what makes it that expensive, um, which makes it less ideal because it's a bit slower for this kind of an aggro deck. But uh, you do need some card draw in here. Uh, the Jagged Panther with the 5-3 ambush. Not bad. I threw this in here because I had nothing else for it. This will eventually get replaced. Um, the Zeros. Uh, if I had a fourth Zero, I might consider swapping out the uh, Jagged Panther for another Zero. Uh, but the Zeros are just a top-notch ambush fighter plane with the, again, with the deal one damage on deployment. Uh, the, the Zero is just an awesome card for tempo swing and also just for um, win conditions and, and getting control of the board. Because uh, usually to kill that, they're trading two to one for you against ambush, just like with the Kagoshima Regiment. Um, so that's the quick walkthrough of the deck. Uh, next, I'll, let's go through the card differences between what cards you have as a brand new player just opening the game and what you would need to craft to go from there to, to be able to use this deck and uh, punch through to your German Field Marshal. All right, so going over the cards that you need to craft to make this deck, you're going to look at, at so 676 resources to craft it all. Now, as I've said in past and on our crafting guide don't craft elites waste of resources to craft elites just in this case i happen to crack a fast hines in one of my packs so obviously it's going to be a snap pick for a, an aggro germany deck and so that's in in my deck list here if you have it included if you don't i'll show you in a minute some substitutions for that um, for fast hines i think a reasonable substitution is going to be the pan's grenadier it gives a deployment of um, boost two tanks of plus two 
obviously only for the turn that you deploy um, but not a permanent buff but it is definitely good because it does apply to tanks of the support line as well as the front line whereas fast hinds was recently nerfed so now it's only tanks in the front line um, so and you get the the three cost four three infantry body on the board with the pans grenadiers that, that i was using that in some other decks on my main account and it's still a pretty good card i liked it um fast hines is just a little bit cheaper and it gives you a permanent buff on your tanks that you get them when you get them into the front line of course uh type 93 i'm mean, definitely going to want to max these out to give the friendly plus one uh 34th infantry a lot of people steer away from this card i have a love hate for it it's a uh, it's a good card it, the zero operation cost even with the 2-2 body it used to be a 2-3 is, uh, is still decent uh, it operates well as a good first card to play and it helps to trigger panzer 35 you can move this up to the front line and your panzer 35 to the front line in one turn uh, panzer 35 is going to max those out they go uh, great alongside the infantry uh, to get them out at a zero op cost uh, the flax i have in here simply because i uh, didn't have anything else i mean this is just making you make your decks out of what you have and what you get from packs right and that's the whole point of these budget decks is figuring out what you can do with what you have um, eventually I could see these flax getting swapped out for a replacement um, even though the zero operation cost is nice they just don't pack enough of a punch whereas the Werble wind uh, that came with uh, I believe that's a theaters of war set the Werble wind uh, I can't recall the um, it has the uh, the blitz but also while the front line air, enemy air units enter the field pins so that's a, su a super good um, effect to have uh, especially with uh, Brit Air aggro air going on so a wearable wind is something I'll be looking forward to to replacing out with the flax uh, the stugs are a great tank to have in this deck it uh, uh, you know, the double damage to tanks gives you solid removal it could it could hit for four against the tank it has smoke screen so it's a bit protected for being attacked uh, it doesn't have the blitz which sometimes is annoying but the two two three body is still pretty good and again, you get these things into the front line and you buff them with uh, your fast hinds or your pans grenade or whatever you're using. Nebel Woofer is just an amazing artillery. I only have one as of right now. Well, this is definitely something I would want to add more of. Uh, the deployment to deal one damage is great. Uh, there's a lot of synergies that you can get with that. And uh, the 2-2 two -two hit uh, from the artillery is great. Amphibious Assault, I mean, AA is just a solid removal. So having one of those in there. Kagoshima Regiment, uh, very solid in these decks in the Japanese aggro as well as German aggro with Japan as an ally uh, with that ambush and um, the HQs cannot gain defense so when you have that on the board uh, and you're looking at British and Soviet who do a lot of healing this card here basically counters the healing the honeys don't do their job and um, the uh, uh, the 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 one zero four guy for Soviet whatever he's called he does he can't heal and as well as the two three infantries that heal they won't do their healing because the hqs can't gain panzer 38t um again these are okay i mean at a two two it does their cantrip card so you do get a card to replace it into your deck um so that's kind of nice um you know but at a three cost it's because of the card draw the one operation i mean you compare this to a panzer 35 it's basically the same stats and uh but the panzer 35 is a lot cheaper so the 38t just gives you some card draw so you can see the deck overall i mean card draw is card draw with germany is, is tricky so uh, you definitely want to have something in here that can do that for you flam panzers are just a staple they're they're an auto include you got to craft these as soon as you can anyways and uh, get these flam panzers going to uh, destroy target enemy with unit cost of one or less does hard work against uh, any of those zero four smoke screen guys and uh, a lot of the japan aggro and a lot of uh the uh, the german aggro as well if you go into a counter and a mirror match uh the uh, british planes the swordfish gladiators they all get killed by this just by deployment so that's super good jag panther i threw this in because i needed another unit this will definitely get swapped out at some point um but the uh it's not not horrible i mean it has the five three ambush i kind of picked it because it has sort of the same stats as a kagoshima um kagoshima is much stronger with the other side effects that it has and the cheaper operation but it is an infantry so with this you're looking at like five total costs before you're hitting something on your enemy support line whereas jag panther you're looking at an eight operate total cost of eight credits before you're hitting anything on the other side but you can do um obviously with the tank it can move a little faster so that's the crafting guide i think um some things you can consider for the deck are some orders that can be helpful so the blitzkrieg 
to give all your units in the front line a plus three attack burst for one turn can be handy for the that one turn kill sort of opportunities encirclement is also really good uh, encirclement is great on the kagoshima uh, to uh, get that five three ambush in the front line duplicated and uh, obviously in, in, in any other uh, decent bodied unit you get in the front line you can encircle it and beef up the front line right away without having to deal with deployment and movement to get it there so these are some orders to look at that you might consider crafting as well but other than that, let's just jump into some games and see how the deck played. All right, here we go with the first game playthrough with the deck. So we're going to get rid of the four cost Panzer three. We're going to molly that away. We get the the five cost zero. Um, I guess that's not not better than the four cost, but it, the zero is a good card. We'll hang on to it as long as you can molly into a one drop infantry like that and the Panzer thirty five T. You're in good shape. Uh, so we'll see enemy is still thinking through what they're doing uh, two one drops and the two drop there is pretty decent All right so we're gonna lead off with the uh, with the infantry so you notice we don't move it up to the front because it, it does have blitz uh, the reason is that they also have Japan so they could have the same blitz coming up and we would just end up trading off our infantry on the front line and then we wouldn't be able to trigger our Panzer 35 so we just sit on the support line and we're gonna wait and see what the opponent does and uh, hopefully we'll be able to trigger off our Panzer 35T and then push everybody up to the front line. Uh, so we're just gonna wait and see. <laughs> I guess there's a big move. The opponent's considering all their options. Send a little emote here. <laughs> see if they're still online. All right. Like I said, these games are all been pre-recorded, so I'm just doing a voiceover right now and talking through the game as we play through it. I'll have the link to the deck uh, down below in the description and uh, pop that uh, subscribe button and hit that hit that like and uh, let me know that um, that you're out there and you like these videos and I'll keep bringing them to you you can hit the little alarm bell there and I think you get notified if you hit the alarm bell so I, that you can get annoyed by me every time I upload a video <laughs> all right so our opponent here is using down the clock doesn't do anything that was bizarre Okay, so we get to do our Panzer 35 and hit base with the tank right away. Boom, two damage, turn two. So turn two, we got two units in the front, both pack a two punch and zero operation cost. I mean, that's just fantastic. So now they're on the clock. All right, they're back in the game here. He drops down the Bicycle Boys and a Titan on three. And uh, so what are we going to do next? All right, so we pop a flak off the top. Uh, so we'll send the flak up to the top. We'll drop the 34th Infantry down. I'm going to trade away the Type 93. Usually with aggro, you just want to go face as much as you can, but a card like Type 93 that buffs, I think we want to get rid of that so that he doesn't drop anything and end up buffing up to three attacks or four attack bonus. Get rid of it while we can. And, and we killed it for value because we didn't lose our unit. We're still sitting there with a 1-1. One, one. So 34th Infantry has that discard effect, and a lot of people don't like that discard effect but it's, it's not bad i mean you usually play a game you don't go through your whole deck so i mean it's just rng really warming up the deck anyway all right so he drops an akita down we get lucky i prefer that it hits face and it did hit face there so that saves a unit for getting killed and you can just keep hammering face here um akita is a good value unit because you could usually get a two for one on that but we got lucky there so we're reaching up into the five Operation cost. So we have two choices. We either drop our zero on the next turn and we can hit face with the zero with the deployment or a unit But we also have this pans grenadier that does the plus two to those tanks in the front line. So uh, we'll see what we have left here It's right of the flag And it was soul of old Japan So that's a really good for us because that that card there just really good tempo play for us because it slowed him down he drops Signal Regiment, but it's probably too late. Uh, so based on the board now, we go with the zero. Tank Grenadier is only going to buff the one tank anyway, so let's put a big, beefy unit in the back line and uh, see what happens next, what our opponent does. And we can go back-to-back Pans Grenadier next two turns if he doesn't kill the, uh, the other Panzer three in the front line. All right, so this bombing raid, so that's going to wipe out our front line. He gets Bicycle Boys into the front line. Oh, look at that Flam Panzer. Great top deck. So, um, yeah, we're going to play with that Flam Panzer, I'm sure. 
kill the bicycle boys out. It pays for four. Clan Panzer is just a great counter to this uh, Japan aggro deck. So now if we push Flam Panzer up with the Panzer Grenadier, we hit base for five. Enemy knows what's coming, they surrender. First game with the deck, easy win. That's all there is to it. Now let's go ahead and look at a game uh, later on in the uh, Field Marshal ladder. Alright, game two, this is for one star general. So we're going to drop the, the three drops, we're going to molly those out. Keep the one drop. Whoa, no, no, go back there. Keep the one drop. <laughs> Keep the Type 93 and the Panzer 35. So unfortunately, in this case, we did not get any infantry to trigger Panzer 35. No one drop infantry, I mean. Uh, the Kagoshima is quite late. So the is the so we get the one drop uh, with the other Panther down the 1 3. And we could play that into maybe the Flak, and we'll see what the opponent does here. The bomber is a little bit threatening because it doesn't take damage back, so we could just chip away at all our units. So we, we need to get rid of that bomber pretty fast. We don't really have anything that can reach it yet. Um, so we, we chip at it with the flak, just a little one punch. Maybe the flak has a little niche spot here, you know, with the zero operation cost, it's kind of convenient, but it's the uh, only the one attack, and it's pretty light. And then only the two health, I mean, is pretty light. You can see with the one drop, the one three has three health. All right, so he drops the Surrey Regiment. That's a that's going to be a pain. I mean, guards are uh, definitely a pain for aggro decks. Uh, if we could top deck um, the Amphibious Assault, we can kill it. All right, so we drop the Kagoshima Regiment, probably just to try to put some muscle on the board. Definitely going to draw his attention over to that because that's something that people want to remove. They don't know if you're running encirclement or not. If you can get Kagoshima to the front line with an encirclement, that is a win condition uh, because of the ambush. Uh, but let's just see here. We don't have encirclement. So he doesn't know that though. But So he'll definitely want to try to get rid of that 5-3. Uh, he's thinking, trying to figure it out. So that's good for, good news when the opponent's taking long because, I mean, if he could get rid of the 5-3, he would have done it right away because that's just a snap removal. Uh, so he's really trying to figure out how to deal with it. That's good for us. He goes for his magic he's chosen. We don't know what he got from it, but tempo-wise, that's uh, two credits out of his four game. So no more units, no full service. Alright, so with that guard, we still can't deal with the bomber, which is unfortunate. So we really got to figure out how to deal with the guard. So we're going to go trigger the Panzer 35T. Get that down to a zero off cost while the Kagoshima is alive on the board. And we just push everything we can to the front. So you notice we don't bother attacking there. We had a zero off. We could have hit with the Panzer 35T and hit the guard, but no value in that for us. He's only got five credits. We want to make him spend his credits to trade with us. So that'll cost him one out of his five credits to kill one of our units. That's the plan anyway. Let's see what he actually does. <clears throat> Oh, the weak can do it. Yeah, so that hurts. So he heals everything plus and then some. All right, so let's try to figure this out. This is going to be a bit of a math. We got a lot of good buffs in our hand, actually. So that is not as big of a deal as it looks. Uh, we have options. The Kagoshima with a 5 attack and 2 type 93s does a 7 damage. Uh, so that's probably what I'll end up doing here. Because <laughs> uh, the Panzer Grenadier is a good buff, but only to the tanks. And it, it eats up 3 credits out of 5. So it's probably not a good option. Type 93 would be the better play here. Oh, I do do the Panzer Grenadier. That's probably a misplay if I do that. I wouldn't say I should do that. Oh, puts it back. <laughs> Psych. Here we go. Now what? Type 93. Yes, there we go. Please just play that. There we go. Drop the other one. Then we have enough to attack with all the front line units. We almost kill the guard with the Kagoshima. It's going to take two hits to kill it. So we go to seven. We hit with the 3-3 three, three so that the tank still lives and then do the sort of remaining damage on to the uh, And I have one credit left, eh? So that we put down that other tank while we can. Hmm, the giant deals with one tank. 
Then he opts to go for the Type 93. Takes away the buff. Not a bad choice, I guess. You know, uh, so he drops a cold stream guard. So another guard to deal with. And we want to deal with this one fast because he's going to end up having a naval support now. The cold stream puts a naval support in your hand. And that makes the attack equal to defense. So he can make that a 4 4 next turn if we don't kill it. And that just uh, trades away a lot of our units if we have to deal with the 4 4. A great time for a fast Heinz. We can just wipe the time here and kill everything, hit base. So this is where Fast Hines really shines. I mean, it is an elite, and so it gives a permanent buff. And you may not have that card. And I'd say don't craft it. Wait till you get it. Be patient. You have other options for buffing your units with the Pan's Grenadier, and uh, use that while you have while you have that cheaper option. It gives you one turn buff. So these will all be back to their regular stats. But um, you know, Fast Hines is just an expensive card to craft. So she comes out with a mosquito. Wipes out a tank with that. And let's see, what are we at here? We're at. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna go and add the plus two. Just go face, I hope. Yeah, there we go. Do lots of damage. Three. So close. Missing one damage to get lethal there. But this game is all but ours now. The uh, the opponent doesn't have any it won't have anything to deal with this. Even if he carpet bombs, he won't have enough credits to kill with the mosquito to wipe out the last unit. Uh, he's really got no options left. Unless he had to drop another guard, the five credits. So he could have had a, gren a guard, Gren guard, the grenadier guard, which is a big five nine. That would be really uh, really painful. But he clearly doesn't have that. So this game is ours. And there we go, he's dropping units now just for the sake of it, because uh, he has no other options left. And there we go, the good game. I'm soft, soft underbelly, and the GG, and the surrender. There we go. So that's it, Major the General. Alright, here we go, final boss. And as luck was have it, we do end up against uh, one of the bots for uh, final boss. And I, I'm not, uh, I think that's just awesome, I mean, whatever. I mean, you're going to get games where there's no matchups and you're going to play against AI. You still get credit towards your field marshal goals with AI. So why not take the take it on and go for a bit of an easier win to advance up your ranks because sometimes it is a bit of a grind. Here we are, final boss. I contemplated uh, not doing it this way, but whatever. Let's get it done. Uh, so he's playing bombers. Um, so it drops down that fury bomber. We're going to want to deal with that pretty fast. That was a two cost. Ooh, pinned us down with unexpected resistance. I was planning to uh, fast Heinz and then clear that bomber right away. Now we can't. So we're just going to go wide with another tank. Flam Panzer doesn't give us value on that particular bomber. Mm, attack strikes the front line. And we're still pinned. Okay, so Sudden Strike was a really nice top deck there. That helps us get rid of the bomber. And hit base for two. Pretty solid play there. So we got two tanks on the front line. And we got a Flam Panzer, a Wolfer, and Fast Hines in, on deck here. We have some options. So, the opponent's going aggressive with the pinning and the control here with whatever cards they have available to do that. Alright, so we're at five. So we're going to drop to the zero. We don't bother pinging the unit because it's a 1-2 bomber and... The 4-4 fighter can take care of that, no problem. Uh, he has precision bombing. So the zero is now uh, out of the picture. So he's making uh, pretty light work of all our units here. Uh, so let's see what we come up with here. We're going to kill the bomber. Bombers have to go. Bombers and artillery are really dangerous against Agro. We really want to take care of those because they don't take reciprocal damage when they attack, so you really want to make sure you take them out. All right, so we have Illustrious to add two more Swordfish to their support line. All right, well, we have enough left there to take out one, but if we go and buff, we can take out both. Flame Panzer takes out one. I'm just lucky that he hasn't drawn any close air supports because that's really what makes those bombers dangerous. 
Hey, the, the opponent's really playing a bomber heavy deck. With a lot of pinning. Pretty good right now to finish this off. <laughs> Not the best deck uh, that the opponent has here in terms of uh, a constructed bomber meta deck. It's not very, very good. Like these, these bombers are really expensive and not getting, uh, not getting an opportunity to play. We go ping out to zero. I mean, we have lethal here anyway, so that's just to get the zero out, and get the stats. And there we go. That is Field Marshal. Just like that. Alright, so there's the deck. 80% win rate. And um, it'll get you uh, it'll get you there. Guaranteed. 80% win rate I had. So good luck on the FM grind and we'll see you in the officers club.